I was on an emotional roller coaster for a very long time. I mean, I kind of went back and forth a while. Back now live, and you can see where some of the char still remains. I had no real desire to do anything else. And as the sun begins to set, around October of last year, I was starting to cover more and more of what I used to cover shootings and murder and mayhem and all that kind of stuff. We had a workplace shooting in Roanoke where a guy killed two employees at Freight Car America. And then I get down there and I realize that I would be going live from the same live truck that Adam and Allison had used when they died. Serious condition, and Chris, I imagine there are many others tonight who are still shaken by what happened here this morning. Yeah, and those wounds might take a lot longer to heal. Joe, thank you very much for your work today. Did the news at five, at five thirty, I pretty much cried for the whole half hour, and then you know, shook it off and anchored the six, and then fell to pieces between six and eleven. And then I would go home and would just fall apart. And I was like, I, this is completely wrong. Like, I don't need to pretend anymore. Finally tonight, my friends, I need to tell you something that's been on my mind for a while. I will be leaving WDBJ7 at the end of February. Southwest Virginia is now my home, and I have no plans to leave the mountains, the rivers, and the people I've come to love. I don't know what my future holds. I only know that I'm being called to something greater that I need to move on to a new chapter, one that isn't written yet. I felt like I had something to say that was me. The most important thing for me was that I didn't really want to live anywhere else. Here I get a chance to connect with the people that really did give me a lot of strength and support when I needed it. And so what could I do that would keep me here and continue to tell the stories of the people of Southwest Virginia? I had to be very sure with myself that I was doing this, not for me, not for her, that this is to be a better advocate for the people of this district. I want more people to be able to get well when they're sick and not go bankrupt from it. I want more children to be able to use textbooks that aren't 10 years old. You know, obviously what happened in my life gave me a moral urgency of wanting to tell people what I think the truth is. How are you? And I think people have appreciated that. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to make sure that we can have this place grow and continue to have more opportunities here so that we don't continue to have Southwest Virginia be seen as an afterthought.